What up, y'all? Check out this Craftsman radio alarm saw I got in a state sale for cheap. We gotta get it out of the truck first. Let's go check it out. All right, so check it out, guys. This is a 90s USA-made Craftsman 12-inch radial arm saw. It got at a um, estate sale for 80 bucks. So it came with all of these blades, um, big old 12-inch blade here, and it's in really good shape. So um, this thing locks it right here, and you can slide it, right? So you can slide it back and forth like this, and I'm gonna go through and oil this thing up, but it's got the little attachment right here where you can put a vacuum, and um, you can do all kinds of crazy cuts with it. You know, you can rotate the blade like this, and it goes up and down right here. So it's got this thing right here. You twist it, and the blade raises and lowers. And um, you pull the pin here, you know. You pull this pin, and then the whole thing will pivot. It's hard to do with one hand. But the whole thing turns and you can rip boards, right? So you can put it like that, tighten it down, and you know, lock it in place. And then you can run the board through here, a piece of plywood or whatever, and rip it. But man, it's in really good shape. And like I said, it was only 80 bucks. So it needs some cleaning up. We need to oil it a little bit. It's got some bearings and stuff in here I want to get oiled up. And then we got to get a cord for it or a plug for it because um, it's 220. So it should have plenty of power. But none of the hardware stores had a plug. So we're going to have to source one of those. Um, and then, you know, it's got these little clamps here for the back so that you can rip boards and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's in really good shape. So let's go ahead and get this thing cleaned up and get this blade swapped out. So you can see right there, made in USA. I'm guessing this is from the 90s. You can tell it's kind of old from these vintage stickers on it. All right, let's swap the blade out. It's got a 10 inch on it, I don't know. I guess someone wanted to spin faster. Let's put one of these big old 12 inch blades on here. So it's got this nifty little craftsman wrench. I don't know if someone cut it or what, or if it came like that, but uh, it just goes right on here. All right, so that's just a little bit bigger, huh? Oh yeah, that looks much better. That's much bigger. All right guys, let's get an electrical plug on here. All right, let's double check this thing. I'm pretty sure it's wired for 220, but I don't want to burn it up. So you can see the brown should be taped off and it should be black, orange, white, blue, yellow, white. And then we got brown taped up, blue, yellow, white, orange, yellow, black, so it is wire for 220. Let's get a new plug on this thing. 
so I got this giant garden hose uh, extension cord I use for my welder. It's an NEMA um, 6-50. So that's the plug, and I got a new receptacle for the saw. It's going to plug right in there. So here's the new plug. I got this at Home Depot. Um, it can do 30 amps or 50 amps, but you got to build it. So it's got all the parts here, and I'm going to cut back some fresh wire. Let's get this thing hooked up. As you've seen the table here is really nice and I need to rip a bunch of boards that's the main thing I want this thing for so it's gonna have you know lines all the way down it and it's gonna be cut to bits so I'm gonna make like I'm gonna put like a sacrificial top on here and then that original blade wasn't very good so I got me an El Diablo I'm down at Home Depot man so I might put this on there it's probably gonna be better let's get going guys all right, so you can see right here these quick adjustments. This is in rip, so you see it's like that, right? In rip, and then on this side, it's got out rip. So it's supposed to be like that. So you can see the blade orientation. But it's got these quick things so you don't have to use a measuring tape, which is really cool. And you can adjust the pointer here. But basically to do that, um, what the manual was saying was, let me adjust this guard right there. Um, for the in rip, it's supposed to be like, you know, one inch right here, and then there's a curve, obviously, but one inch from here to here. And, you know, you just got to adjust it and play with it. And um, then over here, out rip, you got to spin the saw and then do the same thing with the blade out here. You know, a foot should equal a foot up here. But uh, that's pretty cool. That way you don't have to get a measuring tape. You just throw the wood on there, set it, lock it, cut it, bam, done. All right, guys, so I've been ripping boards like a madman. I forgot to turn the camera on, but these were two by eights that I got down at Home Depot scrap pile for like 70% off, and now they're two by sixes. I'm ripping them from my shed roof, my shed rebuild project. So here's the scrap pieces here, but uh, that's a factory two by six, and here's a cut ripped two by eight, and man, that's the cut side. And it is looking real nice. So this saw is doing the trick. It is working great. I can't believe it. It's so old, but man, it's working awesome.
All right, not bad, guys. It's working pretty well. It did get a little burnt right there, but it's just a scrap piece. Who cares? Uh, I was testing it on. But yeah, I got this laid down right here, uh, just so it's cutting in that. I'm gonna have to do the whole thing up right, you know, one day and put a, a big scrap piece up here. But um, I got the Diablo blade on here and it's cutting pretty good. Um, it's a 60 tooth, but uh, I tried to find a negative setback blade, like people were saying was safer and better, but no one has them locally. So I guess I'll just run this for a little while. It doesn't seem to be too bad. Um, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. All right, y'all, so that's it for the video. This thing looks great, runs great, it was made in USA, and it's cheap. So, um, yeah, USA-made Craftsman's a thing of the past, unfortunately. But I check uh, estate sales, garage sales, yard sales, and I find USA-made Craftsman stuff all the time. Like, I've gotten a bunch of old sockets and wrenches and ratchets and all kinds of stuff. Uh, especially bigger bulky stuff like this it's usually cheap because they want it gone it's bulky and heavy get it out of here so don't forget that guys there's still good stuff out there you can still collect i'll check y'all on the next one don't forget to drop me a huge thumbs up down below don't forget to like comment subscribe for more videos in the future peace